Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm making a video that I've probably been asked about more times than anything else. Any other character we've talked about, and it's interesting because it's such a small character in the game. It's not a character who is in the main campaign. There really hasn't been many cutscenes about this character, but what it revolves around is all masks once call of duty modern warfare came out there's no characters with hidden identities masks alex was a little bit of a mystery because we don't actually know his real name but other than that after the launch of the game we got introduced to a bunch of new characters nikto for example he was one of the first ones that we didn't get to see his face and then mace was added in and then we had ghost and then finally the most recent one and in my opinion the most interesting one is Velikin. Now, Velikin is an interesting one because there is almost nothing that we know about this character. Let me explain. So what I mean by this, that we know nothing, is looking at his background, we can see that his name is redacted. In other words, we don't know his real name. We know that his allegiance is to, well, the Allegiance and Shadow Company. And finally, his citizenship is to the United States. Now, reading his bio, which we're going to do in a minute, it's first of all, the main part of his bio is redacted and the rest is essentially just a riddle that we're going to go over in a second. But comparing this to other characters in the game, starting with Mace, first of all, just on his appearance alone, we can see his arms and that there's this thing called crocodile scarring on his arms that's common in African tribes. And that tells us where he's kind of been in his life. On top of this, looking at his bio, it then goes on to tell us that he's an ex US Ranger, that his name is indeed actually Mace and that after kind of having a falling out with the American government, he then went over to South Africa. So we actually know quite a bit of information about him. Similarly with Ghost, we know that his full name is Simon Riley, as we know his background. We know how he came to be a part of Task Force 141, and we know his background is to the United Kingdom and how he has a background with Captain Price. So again, a lot of information we know about him. Even Nikto, a character who is shrouded in mystery, based off of his bio, we know why he wears the mask. It's because his face is disfigured after being being interrogated by Mr. Z. So even with him, even though he is once again shrouded in his mystery, we still know that his actual name is Nikto. With Velikin, we don't even know that Velikin is his real name. We just know that that is what he's referred to as by Shadow Company. Now, there are two individual things that we do know about Velikin. First of all, his minimal bio that we can read here. So first of all, it says redacted is a shadow of a shadow. Tales of his exploits are written off as fairy tales tales at best and gross exaggerations at worst. Those who know him never speak ill of him, whether it's due to fear or respect no one knows. To me, this reads almost like a riddle. What is black and white and red all over? Well, we don't know because we don't know its name. The second thing we can know about Velikin, and same with any other character, is their audio files. When a new character is added, they add in new audio files, but for Velikin, there is only one. Here is what it is. <laughs> yeah, you um, didn't hear it wrong. It sounds like a dude laughing into a Pringles can. <laughs> so essentially what we're learning here is we don't know much at all about Velikin. However, there is a couple of things I can add. Thanks to the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we do get to see a little bit more of Velikin. Specifically, we can see his arms and a very, very small amount of his face. Now, this is kind of like a Halloween costume, so we can't judge him completely based off of this. What we can learn is that he's Caucasian, and you can see that his teeth are a little bit messed up. Now, this could just be a part of the costume. It's hard to tell, um, but that is what we can learn from this costume. So after we know this, the rest of what we're going to be talking about today is purely, purely speculation, taking evidence from things that we already know and putting it towards Velikin. So I'm not saying that what I'm about to say is correct. This is just my best theory. And if you have any other personal theories, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Like I said, what I'm saying is not gospel. It's just a theory. So first of all, we have to discuss who Velikin could be in the Modern Warfare timeline. Now, I've heard different theories. The two main ones that I've heard are, first of all, General Shepard, which is possible. I think that would be very rare. My guess is General Shepard will be introduced in the next Modern Warfare game, whatever that may be. It wouldn't really make any sense for him to be hiding his identity as Captain Price is already taking orders from him. The second one, and looking at the description of Velikin, it could definitely be this, because we don't know whether Velikin is a good guy or a bad guy, is Makarov. Now, on top of this, you may or may not know 
know this, but in Russian, the word Velikin translates to giant. And that really doesn't mean anything. It just means that Velikin is a Russian word and Makarov is also Russian. That's really the only tie-in those two have. Also in Velikin's bio, it tells us that he's American. So that kind of eliminates that as well. But for me, I don't actually think Velikin is someone from a previous Modern Warfare game. You guys may remember a while back, I made a video about Logan Walker and his backstory. In this, we also discussed the backstory of Ghost, and I kind of threw the idea out there of how the Ghost storyline could be somehow intertwined with the Modern Warfare storyline. This is where I think Velikin comes in. Remember how we were talking about all of these characters being added with masks to hide their identity or for other reasons? Well, back in Call of Duty Ghost, the reveal teaser for this game actually was directly about this. And there are those who wear masks to protect us all. So this whole trailer is actually talking about the various reasons why people wear masks to protect others, to protect themselves, to hide their identities, and essentially all of these reasons are the reasons why we see characters within Modern Warfare wearing these various types of masks. Now there are a couple of reasons why I think the ghost story is linked with the new, only the new, reboot of Modern Warfare. And the first reason is the timeline adds up. As we know with Modern Warfare, this game takes place in the year 2019 and 20. 20. Call of Duty Ghost actually doesn't take place until the year 2027, but there is events in that game that do take place beforehand. In fact, the main ensuing event of the Ghost actually take place in the year 2005. It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from tier one teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective? To force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable. It could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. Now, what you may not know about that story is it's called Ghost Stories, but several times throughout the game, it's described as a fairy tale because some people don't believe this story to be real. Just like the actions of Velikin are explained in his bio to be a fairy tale. Now, after kind of pairing this up, I went through all of the ghost characters and looked at all of the ghosts, looking at Elias Walker, Logan Walker, his brother David Hesch Walker, and kind of compared their backstories to Velikin's to see who matched. And what it came down to is that none of the actual ghosts in Call of Duty Ghosts actually kind of lined up with someone who would work for Shadow Company being a paid mercenary. However, though, just talking Talking about aesthetics alone, Velikin does look a lot like Keegan from Call of Duty Ghosts. They have the same sort of mask, they're both wearing night vision goggles, the mask only covers their mouth, so all of this makes them look a lot alike. That being said though, I don't see one of the ghosts actually going and being a paid mercenary, it just doesn't line up with their beliefs in the game. So I kind of gave up on that. But there is one more character who is a part of the ghosts that wasn't actually a good guy. Gabriel. T. 
Rourke. You see, Rourke was originally one of the members of the Ghost during Operation Sand Viper. This was the mission where the Ghosts became Ghosts. They hid amongst the members of their dead army to hide from their enemies, and eventually arose as the Ghosts. Now, after this, the Ghosts then worked for the American government and got sent on a mission to assassinate Diego Almagro. Probably saying his name wrong, but you get the point. Now, on this mission, Diego then floods the city by breaking a dam. And in this, at the end of the mission, Rourke ends up getting swept away in the water. Now, nobody knows what happened to him afterwards. He was considered MIA, but as we find out, this is what happened. There are ancient tribes deep in the Amazon who have perfected the art of torture over hundreds of years. The Federation embraced this heritage, enhancing it with more sophisticated methods. They kept Rourke in a hole for months, feeding him food mixed with the poisons of exotic plants. As they broke down his body, they went to work on his mind. When his mind broke, they went to work on his soul. They rebuilt what was left, twisting him to their purposes. The process was excruciating and exacting. Rourke was their ghost now. The perfect weapon to use against us. So as we talked about before, when the ghosts became ghosts, it was because of the mission called Operation Sand Viper. Now, another name for the ghosts were called Shadows. That's how they were described in that backstory. But when Rourke got taken hostage, he was then tortured, given chemicals, and changed. And what they considered him was a ghost of a ghost, aka a shadow of a shadow. Now, does any of this sound familiar? Because in Velikin's bio, they describe him as a shadow of a shadow. They describe his backstory as fairy tales. All of this matching up with the backstory of the ghost and the backstory of Rourke. Now, how does this fit into the modern warfare story? Well, that I don't know. I don't know exactly how they're going to tie modern warfare into Call of Duty Ghosts. I believe it's going to happen maybe in the next game, but what we do know is that Velikin's name is redacted. Hence, Rourke trying to hide his name because people don't even even know if he's alive at this point until the year 2027 when Call of Duty Ghosts actually takes place. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is just a theory. It is my theory on who Velikin is and a lot of the backstory of the two characters lines up. I truly believe that Velikin is indeed Gabriel T. Rourke. But as always, if you disagree with me about this, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If you have other theories, feel free to let me know. If you enjoyed the video, you like the theory, feel free to leave a like rating. It does really help with the channel. And if you like what you see here, want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty, I do these story videos about once a week. So if you enjoy this type of thing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we